Captain Maney was here when I first came here and he was always, I got on well with him from day one and you could see the way he trained, the goals he scored in training and then took that into a game. He was very sharp in games and the goals that he got that first season that I come was spoke for itself. His finishing is probably the best finisher I've, I've ever played with. So, you know, it speaks for itself and, you know, he, I'd love him to come back down here and see his face again. And he was he was bubbly around the place. Not only was he a great finisher, but he was, you know, he was a great character. And Luke, you, you obviously you both came to us from the Kent football scene. I mean, Luke, you came to us from Ebbsfleet. Sammy, you came to us from Dover. I think he was somebody that, that was known in terms of the sports pages, wasn't he? He was a, you know, one of the top scorers for Tombridge Angels before he came to us. Yeah, I mean, everyone knew his reputation from the lower leagues where he'd scored all them goals, goals every game that he played and his name was always popping up with a goal. So, yeah, that was never in question, the way he could score goals. I mean, when I first come, he was the main man when I come and then obviously Keds took over a little bit, that mental a little bit, but he was still in and around scoring his fair share of goals. But, yeah, he's a top man as well. It was a key time, wasn't it, Sammy, for the club? Because, I mean, obviously, you had uh, you had John Main there, then you had Danny Kedwell as well. Luke was here too. And the Kent boys, I mean, it's, it's grown in its contingent now, but in terms of uh, what it was back then, that was a real key part of building Wimbledon's camaraderie in our rise to the Football League, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, we had a car school, me, Keds, Moro, myself and Mintz, and, you know... We, and Maney. And, May, and Maney. <laughs> and uh, from, from that day, you know, we travelled in, the banter was flying around and it took it, it took it to the training ground as well and we had a great we had a great um, lot of school basically and it was it was a proper family club and looking looking back at it, it was probably one in one of the best squads we've had like you know Wimbledon's out around you know um, obviously with the with the banter side of it so you know that's obviously been missed and and as you know kids are mainly up front the first year I come was unstoppable um, there was they were working off each other you can see what See what they had, and uh, you know, they, you know, they've both gone on separate ways, and you know, we'd like to see Maney again. I think, in terms of, uh, there are a few legendary stories out there of him. I think uh, ones that we could possibly get away with broadcasting here. Who would like to share with the class? Which one of you? Well, there's obviously a few, but a lot of them are. But you can't really say too much about a few of them. They're the main ones that you'd like to say. But yeah, every day Maney would come in with a smile on his face and. You know that he was in for a laugh every time he was in his company and he's obviously a good mate to me and Sammy and it was a very tight knit when we first come it was all because there weren't that many of us Kent boys there was five or so and we was all very tight knit we're all very good mates off the pitch as well but yeah main his stories I don't know how many we could tell but you'd be here all day if you said them all. And in terms of thought let's grade it out of ten I know that Harry Pell sort of likes to think he's the king of uh, dress sense and perhaps banter as well I'll leave this one for you Luke out of ten one being the lowest ten being the highest uh, main his dress sense? Five. And, it, and in terms of his banter, Sammy, because I mean, you know, the banter king, what would you grade him? Nah, he's up there to be fair. He's, uh, he, I'll, give him, I'll give him ten because he's, you know, we, we go away games and he's always sending us Snapchats or on WhatsApp and, and pictures and, you know, we're in the room absolutely laughing at him. And, and if it weren't for Mainy, we probably we wouldn't be in this position today with the man he goals he scored in the Rhyme and the Conference South and even in the Conference that first year he came. I mean, his goal record is phenomenal at any level. Goals, goal scorer is a goal scorer and he is definitely a top class goal scorer. Luke, Sammy, it's uh, a rare occasion we get you both together but I think it was uh, something that warranted in terms of this time round we're getting Maney talking about his retirement and so on and uh, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers.